following presentation of the Daily Mass is made possible by your generous donations to Catholic Television of San Antonio. The Archdiocese of San Antonio and CTSA invite you to join us in celebrating these sacred mysteries, listening to God's Word, and partaking of spiritual communion. Welcome to the Daily Mass. tomb was empty, the Lord is risen, and Jesus is always with us. He stays with us, he remains with us, we rejoice in the love that he shares with us. And sometimes on our journey of faith, we fail. We fail to sing those alleluias and we fail to live them. And so we ask God to forgive us. I confess to Almighty God, and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask, Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to God in the highest, and, and on earth peace to people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, Only Begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, Receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. Have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ. With the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who gladden us year by year 
with the solemnity of the Lord's resurrection. Graciously grant that by celebrating these present festivities, we may merit through them to reach eternal joys. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Peter and John were going up to the temple area for the three o'clock hour of prayer. And a man crippled from birth was carried and placed at the gate of the temple called the Beautiful Gate every day to beg for alms from the people who entered the temple. When he saw Peter and John about to go into the temple, he asked for alms. But Peter looked intently at him, as did John, and said, Look at us. He paid attention to them, expecting to receive something from them. Peter said, I have neither silver nor gold, but what I have to, I give you. In the name of Jesus the Nazarene, rise and walk. Then Peter took him by the right hand and raised him up, and immediately his feet and ankles grew stronger. He leaped up, stood and walked about, and went into the temple with them, walking and jumping and praising God. When all the people saw him walking and praising God, they recognized him as the one who used to sit begging at the beautiful gate of the temple, and they were filled with amazement and astonishment at what had happened to him. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Give thanks to the Lord. Invoke his, excuse me. Rejoice, O hearts that seek the Lord. Rejoice, O hearts that seek the Lord. Give thanks to the Lord. Invoke his name. Make known among the nations his deeds. Sing to him. Sing his praise. Proclaim all his wondrous deeds. Rejoice, O hearts that seek the Lord. Glory in his holy name. Rejoice, O hearts that seek the Lord. Look to the Lord in his strength. Seek to serve him constantly. Rejoice, O hearts that seek the Lord. Your descendants of Abraham, his servants, sons of Jacob, his chosen ones. He, the Lord, is our God. Throughout the earth, his judgments prevail. Rejoice, O hearts that seek the Lord. He remembers forever his covenant, which he made binding for a thousand generation, which he entered into with Abraham and by his oath to Isaac. Rejoice, O hearts that seek the Lord. Amen. This is the day the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad. Alleluia. 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 The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. That very day, the first day of the week, two of Jesus' disciples were going to a village seven miles from Jerusalem called Emmaus. And they were conversing about all the things that had occurred. And it happened that while they were conversing and debating, Jesus himself drew near and walked with them. But their eyes were prevented from recognizing him. He asked them, what are you discussing as you walk along? They stopped, looking downcast. One of them named Cleopas said to him in reply, are you the only visitor to Jerusalem who does not know of the things that have taken place there 
during these days? And he replied to them, what sort of things? They said to him, the things that happened to Jesus, the Nazarene, who was a prophet, mighty in word, deed and word before God and all the people. How our chief priests and rulers both handed him over to a sentence of death and crucified him. But they were hoping that he would be the one to redeem Israel. And besides all this, it is now the third day since this took place. Some women from our group, however, have astounded us. They were at the tomb early in the morning and did, and did not find his body. They came back and reported that they had indeed seen a vision of angels who announced that he was alive. Then some of those with us went to the tomb and found things just as the women had described. But him, they did not see. And he said to them, oh, how foolish you are. How slow of heart to believe all that the prophet spoke. Was it not necessary that the Christ should suffer these things and enter into his glory? Then beginning with Moses and all the prophets, he interpreted to them what referred to him in all the scriptures. As they approached the village to which they were going, he gave the impression that he was going on farther. But they urged him, stay with us, for it is nearly evening and the day is almost over. So he went in to stay with them. And it happened that while he was with them at table, he took bread said the blessing, broke it, and gave it to them. With that, their eyes were opened and they recognized him, but he vanished from their sight. Then they said to each other, were not our hearts burning within us while he spoke to us on the way and opened the scriptures to us? So they set out at once and returned to Jerusalem where they found gathered together the eleven and those with them who were saying the Lord has truly been raised and has appeared to Simon. Then the two recounted what had taken place on the way and how he was made known to them in the breaking of the bread. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. But they urged him, stay with us. Stay with us. They would discover that their hearts were burning as Jesus, not recognizable to them at that moment, broke open the scriptures for them. And it was in the breaking of the bread when he went to dine with them that evening that they realized, they recognized that it was the Lord the Lord Jesus, the risen one. It is said that if we want to understand the celebration of the mass, the beginning of the Eucharist that we celebrate in 2000 years since the resurrection of Jesus and his ascension to heaven, to the father, it begins with the gospel passage of the mass. Here we have the two parts of the liturgy, the liturgy of the word, in the liturgy of the Eucharist. Just as the two disciples were walking and Jesus joined them, so Je Jesus joins with us every time we gather for the Mass, that when we break open his word, we find that we can recognize our Lord and Savior. That Jesus pointed out to them all the passages of Scripture that referenced him. It is we day after day throughout the world that continue to break open God's word and all the Bible studies happening in our parishes. When we in our homes pick up God's word, it is Jesus who is with us. When we read scripture, when we study scripture, when we break it open, we are saying to the Lord in that action, stay with us. And when we break bread together, when we gather around the altars that are situated throughout the world in our churches and wherever we might celebrate the Eucharist itself. 
It is we who break that bread to do this, as Jesus said, in remembrance of me, to share the living cup, to partake of that living bread that gives us strength on our way. It is then when we take time to live our faith and to know that we need the nourishment to do so through the Eucharist, it is then that we say to Jesus, stay with us. And Jesus says to us, I do. I do stay with you, for I am with you. He is present in his word. He is present in all of the sacraments. In this time of Easter, we rejoice that the Lord is with us in his Holy Spirit that guides the church, that guides our individual lives, that helps us, like the first disciples, to recognize the Lord in all situations of life. In the most difficult situations that we encounter, in the times of joy, in the times of great sorrow, it is Jesus who is with us. And it is we, like those first disciples, who say to the Lord, stay with us, and Jesus will always remain. Rejoice in the presence of our risen Lord. We offer to the Lord our needs and prayers for this day. For all members of the church, may the Lord fill us with Easter joy and strengthen us in our witness to the world. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For political leaders, may the Spirit grant them the vision and courage they need to embrace sound and moral principles. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who suffer from limited mobility or chronic pain, may the risen Christ comfort and heal them. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all those suffering from troubled or broken marriages, that they may be fortified by the grace of the sacrament they have received in matrimony and obtain the assistance they need for healing. Let us pray to the Lord. For this faith community, may the graces received in our participation in the Eucharist unite us more closely to Christ and to one another. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who have died, may they share in the joy of salvation with Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. So may God be our grace for the joy of our risen Savior, your Son, is with us. We rejoice. We are filled with the alleluias of our faith. And we pray that we will draw closer to you in living that faith each day by what we say and do. Father, we ask that you answer these prayers through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine, and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual good.
pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Receive, we pray, O Lord, the sacrifice which has redeemed the human race and be pleased to accomplish in us salvation of mind and body through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation at all times to acclaim you, O Lord. But on this day above all, to laud you yet more gloriously, when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. For he is the true lamb who has taken away the sins of the world. By dying, he has destroyed our death, and by rising, restored our life. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exalts in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, 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 God You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like you do fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, take this, all of you, eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope and Gustavo our Bishop, with its auxiliary bishops, Michael, and me, your unworthy servant, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, your spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, 
All the glory and honor is yours forever and ever. The Savior's command informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you. My peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, save the way of the have mercy on us. Lamb of God, Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the suffering of the Lord. My Jesus, I believe all that you are in the Blessed Sacrament. I love you above all things, and I long for you in my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. As though you were already here, I embrace you and unite myself entirely to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
Let us pray. We pray, O Lord, that the reverent reception of the sacrament of your Son may cleanse us from our old ways and transform us into a new creation through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth the masses and alleluia. Alleluia. Thanks be to God. Alleluia. Alleluia. help this very important ministry to continue by sending a donation to Catholic Television of San Antonio, 2718 West Woodlawn, San Antonio, Texas, 78228, or contribute online at ctsa.tv.